What's happening everyone? Jay Shockblast here and check it out. Thanks to the folks at Ubisoft for providing me with early access. We are checking out Assassin's Creed Valhalla and right out the gate you can see you can pet the cat. There's also a dog later on that I pet. So this is the homestead uh, Ravensthorpe. And in this video, we've got 20 minutes of me exploring, talking to vendors, seeing different things you can do. We look at the uh, the gear a little bit. We create our own uh, Viking captain, basically. And uh, I just try my best to use the full 20 minutes I have to make this video to show you as much as I can in the homestead. Lots of stuff can be customized. Uh, we're gonna go up here. You're gonna notice there's gonna be little cuts here and there. Um, but we're going to go up and we are going to uh, talk about the quests with our, our leader of the camp. Uh, this you can see that you can actually upgrade different locations throughout the settlement. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I love this game. Honestly, I cannot wait to get it. It's beautiful. Uh, I really enjoyed it. You can actually change your Ivar uh, at any point uh, from male to female by just pressing the pause button and going into the menu. And uh, yeah, here is our, our great hall. And uh, we're gonna go on in here. I kind of probably should have cut some of this, but I just wanted to like, I wanted to show everybody like just kind of a little bit of everything and what you can do. And obviously uh, in Viking lore or in any Thor movie I've ever seen, uh, they like to sit in their great hall and uh, eat. So I figured that was important. So here we go. Nice to see you. This is Ron V. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. So here's our Alliance map. And these are different sections that you can actually conquer. And it tells you everything you need to see kind of on the screen. We are in... Leedeshire? Leedeshire? I'm, you know, I live in Worcester, Massachusetts, so you'd think I could pronounce stuff like this. Uh, in the last time I got to play the game, back Tell in like July, I got to go to East Angolia. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. So there it is. Lettish Shire. I won't keep them waiting. <laughs> Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. All right, so in other videos, I will show you uh, basically that whole, I did got to do that whole quest line. I got to play the game for about six hours and just loved every minute of it. Like it's very, it's Assassin's Creed, man. If you played Odyssey or Origins, this is exactly up that alley. Um, just Vikings. <laughs> um, there's some really cool stuff in this video though. Like you really get a good vibe of everything that you can do. I'm just trying to show some of the way the different things look. Um, Message has come. I can't help myself, even though this isn't going to be my game save moving forward. I have to like try to read everything and grab everything and and loot everything. I just can't help myself. So uh, you know, these are some of the things that you can do though, and uh, I think that you guys should hopefully appreciate that. So there's a, a letter from Sigurd, who I believe is the brother? If I didn't speak to Sigurd, I could travel northwest to a town called Repton. Yeah, so there we go. Now we're about to cut to the gear. Now, we had access to see the gear and upgrade the gear, but there wasn't really a lot of actual gear dropping. This isn't like a final version of the game. Uh, this is just a build meant for, you know, people to run through and do certain stuff. Um, so it was kind of cool, though, to see, you know, some of the options. You do have the option to have the helmet uh, on or off. 
so I kind of toggled it on. And where you see press up on the animus in the bottom right corner, that's literally all you have to do to change uh, Ivor from male to female or female to male. And like at some point during my questing, I do actually do that. Here's the tattoo shop. Uh, you can actually change your tattoos and your hair. Uh, so I kind of, I think I spent a little bit too much time here at the barber. <laughs> um, I kind of wanted to show everybody like every tattoo uh, and all the different customizations. The game looks gorgeous. Uh, consider this, this is a work in progress build as it does say. And number two, uh, this is me playing remotely on a computer in Montreal and I'm in Massachusetts. So uh, we used a, a program called Parsec and I was able to basically take control uh, of the game being played uh, actually, I think it was played on Xbox. So, I don't know. I don't know how technology works, but uh, it was it was pretty cool. Um, so to be able to kind of play this and, and and do it that way with everything that's going on. Now, obviously, tattoos are kind of. I guess like like people think about tattoos a lot with with Norse, so uh, I think this kind of works really well. Uh, any kind of little glitches that you might see, understand not anywhere near a final version of the game. Um, uh, I just want to make that clear uh, so you don't like look at it and say, oh my god, look at that. So, um, obviously, some pretty cool beards. I don't... I try to fashion my, my character as best I can to myself. Um, but there's never going right. to be if beards that, that fit me all the time. If you need something tattooed, you come here and I do it. And you can bring me whatever designs you come upon too. Now that is a cool thing. I was able to find tattoo so designs uh, and bring them to him and I was able to get them. So here's another shop. Good. I've traveled this great country and found all manner of secrets, plus a few points of interest. For a price, my maps can be yours. If you want access to my maps, I need access to a workshop. If you can't build me something, I'd appreciate it. So as Keep you can exploring. see, I'm gonna upgrade this workshop. I I just picked one at random. Uh, you get all this type of materials by doing raids and stuff like that. So this is the cartographer, and I've gone ahead and upgraded his shop. And I end up buying some maps, and uh, you can see that we're, we're just constantly gonna upgrade our homestead there's a really good overview uh of, of everything kind of a great tree right in the middle there it's pretty cool this is fine work really thank you for seeing this done so i just kind of take a look in the shop real quick he's got all these scrolls and maps and all this kind of stuff and then i go and i just wanted to see what he had i don't really know that this was very important for what i was doing on that given day but i just went ahead and bought a bunch of stuff they started me with a little bit of uh, currency so that I could kind of do stuff like this. I think I probably shouldn't have. I should have focused on some other stuff. But the good news is when I go into the map, it did show me, you know, lots of stuff that I needed to go for, uh, which for definitely now. helped. So uh, pretty cool. So that was Farewell, the cartographer. And then we moved down to the boatsmith. I don't know, the boat swine. I don't know what you call them. Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. This is how you customize your boat, obviously, the shipyard. <laughs> um, so there's different, you know, hulls that you can upgrade. Uh, there's different uh, sails, all that kind of stuff. You know, your little figurine at the top. I definitely spent a little bit too much time on this. Um, but, you know, the customization part is obviously uh, really cool and fascinating. Uh, so I, I really I did enjoy this aspect. So it's hard because, um, you know, you just kind of have to play by their rules. And uh, all the videos are capped at 20 minutes. So you're going to see some uh, my my future videos are going to be kind of capped. There is one part of this towards the end uh, where there's basically like a Nothing rap battle. For you today. I will cut that into a specific video with just those, Don't be a which is pretty fun. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. 
A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. So right here, as you're going to see, uh, we are going to uh, create our second in command, our Jomsviking, I believe is what they're called. And, uh, yeah. You can really customize, like, every aspect of the character. Um, I'm picky, so, like, and I should have understood, you know, this is not my final thing. Um, but I kind of, I wanted to switch at one point from uh, male to female, just to kind of give you an idea of, of what they're all about. And, uh... I liked the version that I had before that, but when I switched back to male, it kind of uh, switched. But as you can see, literally, you can pick the boots, you can pick the the bracers, the axe, the shield, shield, what they carry. You know, literally everything. And I'm assuming that as you upgrade and find stuff, you'll you'll find different options for them to to have how important this is I don't know uh, but everybody has different things that they like so here I kind of sped it up as we kind of filter through all the different Vikings um, like I said it wasn't my final game so I really shouldn't have put this much effort into it, but uh, I kind of just kept like, um, you know, here he is. I kept just randomizing it. Here it is, we can pet the doggy. Love it. Now I just want a boxer, which we will not have obviously in this region of the world, but. We're fishermen, my granddad and me, and we can help with anything you need. Bring us fish you find out there, and we'll pay you for them. But if I'm being honest, we can't do a thing until we have a place to work. If you've got time, we'd love it if you could build something. Goodbye! If you need weapons and armor enhanced or adorned, that's what I'm here for. So as you can see, we're just kind of moving through and uh, showing all the different options right here as the blacksmith. Ready for battle. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> You're just in time for new stock. I buy and sell all manner of items. What's more, I am connected to a wide network of other traders, meaning I have access to nearly everything you could want right here. We have talked so little since our first days, Janli, and I know nothing about you. How did you come to live in England? I wish I had a more intriguing story for you. I came from Sun Sao, far from here, for no real reason. Curiosity, I suppose. It is not an exotic story. A young woman, excited by the prospect of travel, granted passage on a trading boat. Do you miss your home? Yes, often. I intend to return one day, or perhaps coax some friends and family to join me here. But I am in no hurry. Well, you're most welcome here. Oh, <laughs> I should soon have a few spices from the East to add to our feasts. As much as I love your hospitality, your food is... Mm. Well, 
You are doing your best. You know you have use for this. Is that everything? Don't be a stranger! What have you brought for me today, Eivor? Happy to say I've refreshed my stocks. So this is the legendary hunter, basically, and you when can you make your deliveries animal, here. Bring it here for a trade. And if you get something really special, I'm happy to mount it. So obviously I don't have anything here, but you can bring their pelts and stuff like that. We've seen this in nothing other else. Assassin's Creeds. Then you can uh, get different rewards, different runes that you can add to your weaponry. Done for now. Uh, over here is just a grain farm. I'm just trying to show you everything uh, that you kind of have your options to, to go to. I've got some new things. This in. is your uh, horsesmith. <laughs> I'm just making up words at this point. And, and a gameskeeper, I am happy to help you with any matter concerning your horses or your raven. Now this is actually cool though, because how did you come to have such an affinity Oops. for horses, Rowan? They were my best friends growing up. I was a sickly boy with a stammer, and the horses were the only ones who never teased me. Over time, I suppose I came to understand them as well as you may understand people. I listen when they speak, and vice versa. So one of the really cool things, in the past, we've been able to upgrade our horses and stuff like that, get different stuff. I don't know why I spent so much time there. Um, and you can see that there are different horse options. I don't believe that we've ever been able to change our bird. I, and if we have... I'm totally blanking, and you can certainly correct me. But as you can see, there are different ravens that you can upgrade to. And I went with the white, the black and the white. Like, this was definitely money well spent. Um, I thought that was really cool, and it really stuck out to me. So I went ahead and did that. So, do you need anything pretty else? cool. Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. And this just shows you that you can upgrade your mount, different bits of training. All done. And that's that. Bye, Eivor. And this is one of my favorite parts of the game. Like, I literally came back to hear Elvis and Holger's house, okay? This is like epic rap battles of history right here. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Elvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Yeah, so they call it flighting. Thank you, Elvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. And uh, I, I left it out because, like I said, I'm going to use that in another video. I did two flights, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. I could see myself going to every place and just doing them. Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I have seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. So there are going to be different ruins that you find uh, for Roman artifacts. If you find any you Roman artifacts him and, out there in the world, he'll do all sorts of bring stuff Bring them for here. You. I'll appraise them and see they're given a good home. With me. <laughs> so I didn't have any. This is literally when I started the game. And we're wrapping up the video here. So uh, we're going to check out two other places, I believe. Uh, you can see his little area. This is Ravensthorpe again. Thank you to Ubisoft for letting me play this game. I can't wait for it. it launches on November 10th on literally every platform, including the new Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you.